Hi, I'm Mario Guerra, and we're here today talking Downey with Mario and Eric. Welcome. Uh, I'm Mario Guerra, the two-time former mayor here of the great city of Downey, and I'm here with my co-host and my good friend. I'll let him introduce himself. My name is Eric Pierce. I'm a Downey resident, realtor, and editor of the Downey Patriot newspaper. Great. The Downey Patriot on there. That's what we look forward to every week. That's where we get a lot of our news here in Downey, and it's our old reliable friend in the community. So, so 20 years we, the Downey Patriot has been there. Has it really? 20 years? Can you years? imagine? So how long have you been there? I've been there for 20 years. Oh, wow. I've been there. I was hired, I think, the, the third week of publication to help out, and I've yeah. been there ever since. And there's not very many communities anymore that have their own community newspaper. Absolutely. So, But, but Downey's been very... I don't want to say fortunate, but they've embraced having a local newspaper. Absolutely, so that's great. you know what? When I was on, uh, when I was mayor, I remember uh, one of the you know, the national interviews for something that came up in the city, and one of the things they asked me about Downey being special, and I said, you know, we have the, the, you know, our own police, our own fire school district, what makes it special? But I go, but one of the things that does is also having our own our own community newspaper mm -hmm. because you've been able to be the watchdog mm -hmm. uh, for you know scandal, good, bad, or indifferent. You kept people on their toes mm -hmm. and I think not only politicians but everybody else when they know that the the media is is another set of eyes mm -hmm. I think it makes a difference so so thank you and and we appreciate it and uh, you know you and I have laughed about it I, I go you know I know it gets published online at four o'clock on Thursdays mm -hmm. and usually half an hour within there when I remember to go online and check it out I, I don't wait till Friday so we appreciate you and Absolutely. everything you guys have done Absolutely. Right we're and, happy to be here. and a little shout out to Jennifer Decay mm -hmm. the the owner and publisher owner of, publisher. of, the, of the paper on this Absolutely. have a good episode today we Mario do. and and uh, I mean, this is a, a topic that I think we're, we're both excited to talk about, which is economic development. And, uh, you know, I think on the surface, that maybe doesn't sound very sexy, economic development. But we're going to be talking about stores in Downey, what we, what we want to see, what's coming, what's on the horizon, because everybody has an opinion <laughs> on, on what should be here in Downey. Yeah, yeah. I think you can name it, you know, Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's, right? That, mm -hmm. that everybody's been talking about for 20 years on there. So, uh, yes, and that's one thing that, you know, having a stable government, a stable community, um, and especially uh, the city management and so forth, I think it allows businesses to want to come into your community because mm -hmm. they know that things aren't crazy. You can defend them, protect them with you know your public safety, uh, and also that you the community is embracing them. So right. it's a good episode. Everybody always mm -hmm. wants to talk about it. I know that you reached out to Aldo Schindler for our community development department, and he gave you an answer about some of the things we're working on, but also told you you know. Sometimes we don't hear anything, we don't see it. Oh, nobody's doing anything, right? There's nobody coming, nobody's even applying to come to Downey. But you and I know that's not true. You want to tell them a little story about some I, of the I, things he, he told I, you about? I, I did reach out to the city of Downey, and they were very nice to provide some, some information. And uh, so they actually gave me a little uh, fact sheet. So I'll, I'll, I'll read some of what, of what, to, of what they provided. Uh, according to the city, there are currently seven large projects in the in various stages in the planning department and uh, which which is exciting that means jobs that means more economic vitality it means good stuff happening uh, there are currently 133 planning applications uh underway at city hall so that's exciting we had 356 new businesses right. uh, open in Downey in, right. in 2020. And also, I, I just want to say, this information was provided by uh, Mayor Frometa during her State of the City so, address also. Absolutely. So, so she, you know, the, the, that's the one thing that Downey has always had. It, it, while 356 new businesses is amazing, um, we've had years where we've had four or five hundred new business. We've had some where we had two hundred here, and then of course now after COVID, when people are starting to open up again, so that's a good number. Mm -hmm. But in, in, in the heyday of the the prime time, mm -hmm. three or four years ago, we did we had five six hundred at times on there, which, which is crazy. I think yeah. because I'm thinking like, where are they? Like, where are they yeah. opening? Yeah. But you know, there's so yeah. many. There's so many places. We have so many retail centers and, and, and malls, and there's so many opportunities. Some of these could even be, you know, work at home businesses. Right. We, we just don't know. It's right. very interesting. Right. Right. Um, over the past year, Downey has assisted 423 businesses. I'm not sure what that means, assisting businesses, right. but it sounds, it sounds positive. 
negative. I mean, you think some of it has to do with the federal stimulus uh, funds that we receive, and then, you know, we saw in Downey Avenue and then also restaurants being able to, uh, they assisted them in helping pay for some of the outdoor dining facilities. That's a great point. So, yeah. That's a great point. Yeah. Well, one final figure. Uh, in the past year, there were 934 development plan checks in the city wow. of Downey. Wow. So it points towards, you know, there's, there's activity, there's economic activity happening in Downey. Right, right. Which is and what people always talk about is, is oh, we're so crowded, we're so, uh, you know, we don't need any more and so forth. You know, we need the revenue to help pay for mm -hmm. fixing our streets, for paying our policemen, for paying our firemen. So the city always needs taxes, uh, you know, needs new businesses, mm -hmm. needs new revenues to continue to do that. So it's always real important. Um, you know, it's funny, as people don't realize what the big income generators are. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the new things that I know that's coming is the Springfield Suites, you know, right. that's coming to Downey, uh, over on Firestone, right next to the foot, new Foot Locker, mm -hmm. right next to the Dunkin' Donuts. Right. So that spot's been there for 15 years, and mm -hmm. we've looked at all these different things of what could, should be or could be there. The one thing that we did a couple of years ago, and did a study in the city, and the largest uh, um, tax revenue generators, mm -hmm. if you will. And the two things, you can't beat car dealerships, okay? You can, it's just a, a regular income. I mean, they provide X number of policemen kind of thing. Absolutely. You know, it's a big gener generator uh, of, of taxes. Then the other one is also hotels. Mm -hmm. And down, you know, we've had the embassy suites and we have a couple of smaller motels, mm -hmm. a couple of seedy ones too. Right. But we, you know, so, when you look at that, we, number one, knew we needed more mm -hmm. with us becoming a medical hub and also the general area around us, there's a good mm -hmm. development that we needed that. So the Springfield Suites was coming and it's almost being built and we get a lot of revenue coming from hotel taxes. And I know that, that the study that we commissioned, I was on the council then, um, we could use another one. Mm -hmm. And I know that there's hotel in the plans over there in the back end of the promenade. Right. And that's going to be exciting. We, we really can't have enough good hotels. No, we, we, need, we need the hotel rooms because, you know, I, I love the embassy suites. Yeah. But as much as I love it, it's good to have competition. Yeah. And it's good to have other options. There's been times when I've had family, you know, coming in from out of town and they, they want to stay at the embassy suites and it's been sold out yeah we we need you know we need other options and this spring hill suites is going to be beautiful i remember the plans it was the initial plans included like a outdoor rooftop type of terrace which is going right. to be really nice right. and so i'm excited i hope the third one happens too good I mean, that would good. be great i think it would be good for our city you know what's funny is uh, the embassy suites it's usually sold out what i found out was there's a lot of regional and local tournaments on weekends. You know, uh, everybody's playing club team for club volleyball, right. club softball, mm -hmm. club baseball, and stuff. And I found out that from a regional draw, they're booked all the time from mm -hmm. teams coming in, tournaments coming in. So yeah, it's interesting. Right. I would have thought really, I would have thought the 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 weekdays would have been for business, right? Uh, but I forgot about the weekends yeah. and almost all the time, completely. Yeah, it's good for them, good for us. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. They come and they walk over here. They eat at Portos or all the eighteen good. restaurants in downtown Downey. As they should. Yeah. Here's another place that's opening in in Downey. Not many people know about this. Downey's getting another in and out. Yes. And it, this isn't for sure, this isn't for sure, but but that's what the plan is, to open another in and out over on Firestone by the Home Depot. Right. It's currently flat open land, right. but there's a development happening that's supposed to include another in and out. I don't think anybody from the city is going to confirm it. If you ask them, they're, they're not going to tell you, but <laughs> that's what the current plans are for another right. in and out there. Right. It literally has, the you know, it's public records that you can get those plans. And they're there. It's, it's part of the uh, Andrews development there, right next to mm -hmm. uh, Downey Nissan. Mm -hmm. Tim Hutchinson and them that moved there a couple of years ago. And we thank Downey Nissan and Tim and, and the, uh, the whole entire company there because they've been great partners with the city. But yeah, that's going to be open up a little bit of room there from you know Good. the great big lines on Firestone and Lakewood. I hope so. In and out and make a little bit on the west side of town, if you will. I yeah. think it's a good spot for it. I think so too. You have the space. And you know why not? It's gonna just it's gonna be great. Yeah. You, you it's just, kind of when they open up, you know, recently opened up the new Chick Fil A mm -hmm. over on Lakewood and Imperial. Right. People think, oh, another Chick Fil A, but it yeah. has alleviated some of the the mm -hmm. traffic jams, if you sure. will. Uh, I think that shopping center is kind of 
interesting or, yeah. or, or weird oh, because right. you got the Chick-fil-A, but yeah. I don't know if I want to get one of those stores there and try to park my car, you know, right. but it's working mm -hmm. and good for us, good for them. Ab absolutely. You know? so, ab absolutely. Yeah. What else is coming to down here? Well, uh, I heard that there's a margarita restaurant, it's mm -hmm. called Margaritas. Uh, the old Denny's on what is that? Dolan, Brookshire, Brookshire, and Firestone, and uh, not Brookshire. Excuse me, Firestone and right. um, Dolan. And Dolan, yeah. It's one of those small little streets. Yeah, yeah, right down the street from here. We're literally where we're at, yeah. and that is uh, the old Denny's that was on yeah. Firestone, almost across the street from mm -hmm. the Embassy Suite. Right. So I heard that's a margarita restaurant, and I'm not quite sure what that is. I don't know either, and I I've seen it on Facebook. Yeah. I don't. It's, I don't know how reliable that information is, yeah. but that's what the word is. It's going to be some sort of margarita restaurant yeah. or bar. I really don't know, and you know, I, I'm trying to keep an open mind. Yeah. I, 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 I don't, I don't know. Yeah. It, I guess it would be better than having nothing there at right. all. Right. But it, it, it's interesting because that Denny's is situated right next to a public parking lot. That's right. a city parking lot right on the right to, to the north of right. it. So it is kind of interesting. I guess we're going to have to wait and see. I just don't know. Well, the city, remember, the front part facing, uh, the part, front part of Denny's facing Firestone Boulevard, the city, by law, had to put that out for uh, low-income housing mm -hmm. uh, when the city has excess land or excess mm -hmm. surplus land, they call it. So it had to put that out. Of course, it's too small of an area to build anything on right. it. But they had a city meeting about it. They had to, mm -hmm. by law. And then this is what came next. Uh, from putting the restaurant and using that for parking right. space and stuff. That, so. that, it, that is an interesting location for public parking because in theory you would park there and then walk across Firestone yeah. to downtown yeah. and do shopping. Yeah. I just don't know how practical that is and how many people yeah. use it. Um, well, I tell you, it's interesting to me how you know, I've always admired uh, you know, business owners and entrepreneurs. If you're willing to put your money where your mouth is, mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I believe you. At least mm -hmm. you're willing to put your money where your mouth is, right. you know, and, and mm -hmm. you're investing your own money on it with some help from the city from other things, mm -hmm. but not cash. The city can't write a check for you. Uh, that was the old uh, redevelopment money that the governor took away. Yeah. Uh, we, used to, we used to be able to attract people in. Um, but you know what's interesting is, so right now in the corner, the corner of Downey and Firestone, mm -hmm. okay, the south east corner mm -hmm. there's that skateboard there shop or the board shop the Jenny Craig and he, well, Jenny Craig is right. gone so but that's all I, I'm not at liberty to tell you a couple ownerships on there it's public record but mm -hmm. I, I shouldn't be saying it uh, but then looking there are a couple restaurants there mm -hmm. one being a top a ramen type of place okay and you know I know Noodle World there closed down across okay. the street I did not know that so, yeah it no. closed down they just kind of I think COVID got to them yeah and I think they have a big following in like Valley Boulevard and Alhambra okay. A lot of a little bit more of the Asian community. Mm -hmm. uh, I liked that. I would go across the street. Yeah. and I really enjoyed it and so you, forth. You but didn't go enough. I didn't go. Well, I tried to, but you know, yeah, I know I didn't quite go enough. But they closed down. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, I didn't realize it until I went there a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Like, oh no, it's gone. Yeah, but I mean, it's completely bad. gone now. Yeah. There. But I'm sure that that development. This is the um, across the street. Uh, the landing, uh, they're looking at, you know, what they yeah. do on there. No, that's not the landing. It's called Gateway. Right? The Gateway. The Gateway. The gateway, gateway. Downey Gateway mm -hmm. down there. Yeah. I was mayor when we dedicated, and uh, I'll never forget that. So, well, oh, sorry, I don't mean to No, no, that's okay. But at the Gateway, the, the pizza place closed down, too. It did. The, uh, it wasn't Shakey's. It was a round table. A round, a round table. table. And something new is already coming in. I don't know what it is, but something new is coming in. I heard it has to do with a Korean barbecue. Really? Something that you've been pushing and wanting, and I know it's on mm -hmm. your top three things of things you're wanting down. So you want to, there, but that's what I heard, and that's wow. rumor. complete rumor. Okay, so okay. if it just gets dispelled, blame it on me. That's a rumor, but it's a well, fun rumor. Fingers, oh yeah. yeah, no, I'm excited about that. And then, but you got some other good restaurants there. You got the Hummus Factory. Uh, you got uh, a Morton Taco, and then you have La Chula, and I love mm -hmm. La Chula, man. That's great. Their the burritos, burritos, yeah, that's really burritos. good on there. Yeah. So, no, and I'm wrong. What's the name of the corner restaurant? It's not uh, 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 Taqueros Mucho. Taqueros yes. Mucho, yes. Out there. Yeah, that's really good too. I like uh -huh. going I there. I've been there yet. I uh, know. I've Is enjoyed it? it. I take my newspaper by myself yeah. and go on there, and they're right side by side, so you get a choice. Yeah, on good, so, good. Yeah. So, um, you know, we, we briefly touched about, you know, in and out coming to the uh, Andrews Rent Show development. 
but there's more coming there. There's supposed to be a grocery store coming yeah. there to that location. I don't know what type of grocery store. That you mean, is it Trader Joe's, Eric? Come you on, know, Trader Joe's? We, Isn't that everything you want every we, year? We, we're not going to tell you that we know it's not Trader Joe's. Of course, of course. Yeah, I mean, it would be great. I don't know if that's the great, the best location for Trader Joe's. Yeah. Uh, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. But it's supposed to be getting uh, a grocery it's store and the in and out. But it's going to be nice to get some development there. That's where the old uh, old American used to be. Correct. And I, you know, I always think about old American during Christmas season because yeah. right on Christmas trees every yeah. single year. I so used to love going in there. Yeah. You get the hot dog on the outside there and the little vendor yeah. thing, and they had the the free coffee inside the coffee machine mm -hmm. towards the back, and you drink your coffee as you're walking around. It felt like home, and yeah, it, you know the you know the new section of the new stuff for the seasonal stuff was that mm -hmm. area. It was always kind of fun to be yeah. through. Yeah, I miss all American. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, it would be nice to get that place redeveloped Absolutely. and get some new. Some so new. much potential there. I know that's the Andrews family has owned yeah. that, the land across the street for many years, and mm -hmm. they've been stewards there. So uh, uh, I, I'm looking forward to that. Good. Okay. Mario, on our Facebook page, we asked the public to, to give us ideas for three stores that Downey needs. Yeah. Three stores that we will want here in Downey. We got some good uh, some good feedback. Uh, it's on our Facebook page. I know you have three three stores that you, you would like to see in Downey. Mm -hmm. I have my three. Do you wanna go first? Uh, I do, but one of the things that we didn't ask for mm -hmm. that actually came to Downey mm -hmm. that was on, on uh, ABC News last week, it's been all over the place, mm -hmm. is this new company. We have a shrimp farm mm -hmm. in the city of Downey. Who knew, right? Actually, I knew about a year ago. Mm -hmm. I helped them for a little bit on things on there, and I know several people, including former Mayor uh, Cartosian, that helped them, uh, called Transparency. And it's an organic shrimp farm. And it's right next to the park over there, next to Discovery Sports Complex. Mm -hmm. And it's been written up. It's this new process. And it's kind of put us on the map a little bit. It's kind of fun. It's very interesting. It's interesting. They, they have the technology that they mm -hmm. have to do this. And they raise them right there in mm -hmm. the water and so forth. But you drive by that building, you never know. And yeah. It's kind of cool. Uh, Channel 7 recently did a profile on yeah. them. Uh, we'll, we'll include the link uh, in, in the video so, so you can check out the feature. Yeah. But right here, right here in Ashford Farm, right right here in Downey. Down, it's here so we are. It's so strange. We're on the map. Well, we sent you to the moon. Yeah. We feed you on the way through McDonald's, or the or, uh, oldest McDonald's, and now you get the shrimp cocktail afterwards. Absolutely. Too, in gourmet. So anyway, I go. just wanted to add that a little yeah. bit on there. Give a little bit of love to transparency. I know. Kirk Cartosian, yeah. Steve Sutton is the owner there, and, and that's a, a great technology. Good for them. So, the ones that we got, we got all kinds of different things. We got from Hobby Lobby, we got things from uh, Dave & Buster, family mm -hmm. oriented, which I kind of, I think is kind of cool, mm -hmm. right, to, to have a family oriented place. Uh, we got things as, as, as different as a shooting range, mm -hmm. you know, target practice which I used to be against, that. not against it, I was unknowledgeable about it, mm -hmm. and now I can see a need or people actually having that. I think mm -hmm. it's not not that you know I'm a gun person because I'm not, or other gun people, but it's kind of interesting mm -hmm. if you do it safely and you do it for target practice mm -hmm. and you're not law enforcement around. But so, so those are some of the things. I know you heard about some other things before yeah. we get to our wish list. What else did we hear about? You, you know, it, it's funny because uh, I got so many requests for Trader Joe's, yeah. of course, which, you know, we, we put that caveat in there, you know, anything yeah. but Trader Joe's and people still want, so want you want to, you want to get Joe's. into Trader Joe's now? Yes, or you wanna, yeah, absolutely. All right. So when I ran for office, everybody says, here's what you need. You need a steakhouse and you need, you know, a Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll work on that, okay, for everything else. So, again, our good friend Kirk Cartosian, uh, former mayor here, uh, he, he always reminds me that, you know, he brought the first steakhouse on there yeah. where we have Gaucho Grill. And mm -hmm. it's a beautiful, awesome place. They've mm -hmm. grown. they got amazing meats. I go there all the time. Uh, I'll take the credit for being on the council along with uh, former Mayor Alex Saab for when we opened it up. But I really had nothing to do with mm -hmm. it on there. But I'm going to take the credit for bringing mm -hmm. a steakhouse to Downey. But thanks, Oski. So we brought a steakhouse to Downey. The other one was Trader Joe's, okay? Yeah. Now, Trader Joe's was not for a lack of trying, mm -hmm. okay? We met with Trader Joe's, their development people, their real estate people from uh, Denver flew in. We met with them several, 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 mm -hmm. several, several times. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. We reached out to them every six months for five years. Mm -hmm. um, had a great meeting with them. We thought we set it up at the International Conference of Shopping Centers in San Diego with our city manager, Gilbert Levis, myself, uh, a couple other council members, another other council member, and we had a meeting with them. Uh, we're meeting them that we, you know, we wanted them. We, what can we do to, to help facilitate it? How do we make this happen? We really want you. We want to be in either that or on your five-year plan, right. okay? They made it very clear we weren't on their five-year plan, and we were not going to be on their five-year plan. So I'm sitting there thinking, I'm there, oh, go ahead. No, did they give you a reason why? They did give me a reason why. I shared that reason at one of my town hall meetings, mm -hmm. and you as the local reporter, editor of the Downey Patriot, you quoted me. I told the truth at my mm -hmm. town hall meeting where that question came directly from a citizen. And it's not that I was wrong in telling the truth. Uh, it's not that I was wrong in putting it the way because I was just quoting them. But people took it completely different. So here's what one of their executives told me. The city of Downey is not, actually, let me change on there. One of the executives was there, but the real estate person, which I think was more of their real estate connection uh, contact person out of Denver, Colorado, said Downey is not rich enough and Downey is not white enough, okay? Downey is not rich enough, Downey is not white enough. Now, I didn't say that, okay? Obviously, it's, you know. Trader Joe said that. Trader Joe said that. Mm -hmm. You did the right thing. You reported as part of my town hall meeting. Mm -hmm. I, I had one every year. Mm -hmm. I loved it. I missed it. I had one for eight years in a row. I think people liked that. Great questions, great ideas for the mm -hmm. city came out of that. Good transparency and dialogue. I mentioned that. I said that out loud. You reported it on it. The following week, there's letters to your newspaper, letters mm -hmm. to the editor, claiming that I'm a racist mm -hmm. from all these people that said, I'm white and I'm here and mm -hmm. all these things. And, you know, I'm middle class, we're middle class. It's like, time out, okay? I didn't say that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I know we could support a trader. We could have mm -hmm. supported Trader Joe's back then. Mm -hmm. Didn't matter who we are on there, but we could support a Trader Joe's. But time out. I didn't say that. They said that, mm -hmm. okay? But I got the blame for being honest about it. So then people saying, oh, Trader Joe's will never come to Downey now because of Mayor Guerra. Mm -hmm. Okay? I insulted them and so forth. Listen, they weren't going to come when they tell you that kind of story. Right. And no, we're not on their five-year plan. Could we support a Trader Joe's? Absolutely. Of course. Absolutely. On there. I love some of their cheeses. My wife goes to the Cerritos or the Long Beach store on there. But, but it's not for a lack of trying mm -hmm. on the city management. On my council years, for eight years after that, I know that Councilman Alex Saab and Councilman Rick Rodriguez, I know everybody mm -hmm. has tried to bring a Trader Joe's. So if you want a Trader Joe's, keep reaching out to them. I know that there's a We Want Trader Joe's Facebook page and, and websites mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Not for lack of trying. I stopped. Okay, we talk, we're, here we are talking about Trader right. Joe's. I don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. We've moved on for a city. Do I want one? Yeah, of course. I'm, okay. What's next? Okay. You know, I, I'm the same way. I, I've moved on. I, I do like Trader Joe's. And to be honest, the reason I want a Trader Joe's here is it, it's, it's more because I take it personal that they're not here yeah. in Downey. Yeah. Because we, we have we have the customer base, I think, to, to support one. Of course. We have the retail space. There's no reason, in my opinion, that they shouldn't be here. I'm ready for them to be here. And I, I want them to open also because I'm, I'm kind of tired of hearing about them not being here at Downey. <laughs> okay. But, you know, I, I've, I've moved on. You know, yeah. I, if, I, if, if I want to go to Trader Joe's that bad, I'll drive out to Whittier yeah. or wherever I have to go to, to Long Beach yeah. or whatever. But honestly, I don't really, you know, if I happen to be in the area. Right. But I do hope they open one day in Downey. They will. They will. And then it'll be like, ha-ha, in spite of Mayor Guerra, they're mm -hmm. opening up. In, you know, so I'll get there that. There you go. There's a critic, a guy that writes in your paper sometimes, kind of a dork. This should be the dork of the month. He's the most negative person on there. And, you know, I'm talking about that Lawrence Christen guy that has never written a positive article about the city of Downey. And I could still blame it because we don't have the opera and all this other stuff on there. But, dude, he's got a negative guy very negative person hates my guts because I didn't bring a Trader Joe's or he thinks I got rid of the uh, Downey Opera here but uh, anyways no matter what people think Downey can't support it 
we have a great community of great people, uh, middle class community. Yes, we are primarily Hispanic, uh, Latinos, and that's okay. We're proud of that. We're a move up community, and we're real proud of that, regardless of the doofus we, we, we are the <laughs> We are the Mexican Beverly Hills, uh, and somebody needs to tell Trader Joe's that. Yeah, well, I don't use the Mexican part. I'm not putting down Mexicans, but it's like people now that are using the Latinx num name or whatever, which, by the way, 80% of Latinos hate being called Latinx. Okay, is it Latinx or Latinx? I, I mean, we're Latinos. We're Hispanics, period. That includes us all. Okay, so yes, I love Mexicans. I know you're Mexican and we have such a great Mexican community, but there's a lot of Latinos here. It's not all Mexicans and you know, it's okay. We, we blend together. You can't put us all Latinos into one box because we're so diverse, just like you can't put races into one box. We're all diverse, but anyways. All right. so, so we're not, don't go with Mexican Beverly Hills. We're the Latino Beverly Hills. There you go. So, Mar <laughs> okay. so we're talking about, uh, we got, I'll talk a little bit. But we're talking about the three stores that we want to see in Downey. Right. And, and I, I have mine. And so I'll start. That's okay with you. Uh, I'll go one at a time. The first one is I think we need a bookstore here, here in Downey. Uh -huh. And that, that's wishful thinking because bookstores nowadays are hard to find anywhere. Right. But I really think somewhere in downtown there could be space and there could be a market for a small little independent bookstore. I know I would be shopping there. I would support it. I think others would too. And, you know, obviously it's not a great, you're not going to get rich off of doing it, but I think there's a need, and I think it adds charm, it adds character to a community. I would like to see a bookstore here in Downey. I, I totally agree. I think it adds all those things. I think it'd be great. The problem is, you know, who's going to invest in that? Is mm -hmm. that model sustainable mm -hmm. and that's why I always look at it because I'm a businessman so I always look at the practical I would love to go to a bookstore right now you know one of the gift exchanges that I'm in is for booze and books okay so the booze part of the person that I could mm -hmm. draw was great and the books on there was fairly easy I mean we go to Amazon we mm -hmm. pick the books that they know that they like and so forth and we get it within 36 mm -hmm. hours at our home mm -hmm. So that, I think, is the challenge. I think it has to be a unique bookstore uh, and so forth. But I think it's just how do we make it sustainable. I agree 100%. And, and I'll tell you, that leads me into what I want, okay? okay? Because maybe you can make a books and a cigar lounge, <laughs> okay? okay? I want a cigar lounge. Cigar lounge. Cigar lounge, and you make it a higher end one uh, where people can. I tell you, I've gone to both cigar lounge uh, in in uh, Bell, uh, excuse Bellflower. Me, in Bellflower. It used to be in Param. I used to be in Long Beach, and they have one other one in Torrance. You go in there, it's such a a mix. I've gone in there at lunchtime, and you have construction workers. You got people with suits and ties. You got businessmen. You have females, you have um, different races, you know, mm -hmm. and it's such a civilized thing. You smoke a cigar, you got to have the right power. It's a nice environment, nice place. Mm -hmm. You make it safe. I think a cigar lounge would do really good in Downey. Yes, I know mm -hmm. I come from a cigar family. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did put the Cohiba's humidor behind me today, mm -hmm. knowing we were going to talk about that. Yeah. But wouldn't that be good then? How about a bookstore with a cigar lounge? So you can read and smoke at the same. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Maybe, may, may you, know, you know. So that, that's where we're different because I'm not a cigar person. Sure. I think I've smoked one one cigar in my life, and that was <laughs> I, I, that was at your daughter's wedding. Your daughter's wedding, yeah. Yeah, that was at Andy's yeah. wedding. It took you three days to recover. You were it green. Did. No, <laughs> I know, I know. So I'm not a cigar person, uh, but hey, I mean, why not? There, there's definitely a market here. I know there is a cigar club in Downey in, Cigar in Club Downey that, yeah. that meets here. I'm a proud member of that. Yeah, there you go. So, so hey, why, why not? It, it yeah. can happen. I think it can be. I think downtown, again, you make it so it's it's a little bit more, uh, you know, you don't have all the other. Anyways, yeah. I don't, I'm going to get in trouble for whatever. I say next <laughs> on that. So let me move right. on. But, yes, that's, I okay. think that's great. Okay, what's next? My next you? one. I'm going to show my age a little bit. But uh, we, we need a furniture store here in, in, in Downey. And, and I know we have a couple smaller ones. And uh, but I'm talking more of a of an IKEA of a living spaces, a, 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 a bigger one, a bigger furniture store 
where they're not going to follow you around when you're in there looking for furniture. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to name any names. But we need something, you know, I call it, I, I'm tired of driving out to Carson or to La Mirada yeah. or wherever I have well, to go. It'd be, yeah, it would be nicer to have one here. I think we have the room. Um, that's on my wish list for things that I wish There you go. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So one of the things that people have brought up to me, and actually I, I agree with too, is a family oriented license, mm -hmm. okay? Something like a Dave and Buster's type mm -hmm. of place. Something I you can go with your family, kick back. Uh, I know we have a Chuck E. Cheese right next door in Norwalk on there that, that we have it. So Nobody so goes to Chuck E. Cheese in Norwalk. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> okay, don't tell it the Norwalk, okay? I'm don't insult saying, Norwalk. I'm say, I'm nobody there. from Downey is going to <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese in Norwalk. Okay, well, we I used to take my grandkids there. Yeah, granted, I mean, it's been a couple of years now, COVID and everything else. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the food is the food, and that's what happens those times. But it was fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, when you, you have know, no other choice. When you have no other choice. And maybe if there. you go hungry, uh, yeah. maybe. Yeah. If my hands already feel dirty just by everything yeah. else. But yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. But but anyway, some kind of family place that the kids and the whole family mm -hmm. can go. Some place you can enjoy mm -hmm. your birthdays on there. The old Pharaohs, which was, was yeah. going to come back. I remember being uh, mayor and we met with the mm -hmm. Pharaohs folks about bringing another one back. There was a whole series, a show about Pharaoh's, one of those mm -hmm. restaurant safe things, and they had the one in Wayne I Park. saw that one, and yeah. So I, and then now the owners just ran to the ground, it's gone again. It's gone, yeah. So maybe you and I can buy the name and, and bring it back with the big That's ice cream under somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. yeah. With the big bell. Yeah. But so, there is a need for a family friendly there is. place. Yeah, yeah. There Especially really with is. things like that. So, you know, that just brought back yeah. memories, and we'll probably cut this out of the episode, but. So many people, we, I mean, we go nostalgic on, you know, the Stonewood Shopping Center when it was yeah. open, mm -hmm. right? The mall was open, and then you had Pharaohs. So I remember growing up, and when you, at the YMCA, when you won a big game or something, in a celebration, you went to Pharaohs. Yeah. And it was such a treat. You get the little ribbon because you ate the whole thing. Okay, now I'm yeah. reminiscing. Mm -hmm. But that was that was growing up. Yeah. And there's so many people here now, in the community. Where do you go now after a little bit game? Any Shakey's? Maybe? It's Shakey's. Yeah. Shakey's are still good on Paramount Boulevard, yeah. under the Downey Pizza Company. There's a couple of pizza places yeah. that you can go that type of. Shakey's still has a... Uh, a little game a section. Arcade, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to but go. But it's there. not the same as the Dave and Buster's. No, 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 it's not. So, anyways, a family oriented type place, and, there, and if you're looking as a business, and you know, we'll reach out to you. You reach out to us. Let's make this happen. Okay? Absolutely. All right. What's your third? One Imagine. more place. Uh -huh. uh, Korean barbecue. Ooh. I would love to see a, a good Korean barbecue restaurant here. In Downey, there is something to me is it's kind of elevated, it's kind of elegant, it's a nice place to go out, it's a good date place, it's a good place for a family. Is that the one it's, that you put the meat on the grill? It and is, it, and so forth? it is, yeah. it yeah. is. And there's there's some good ones in the region. Yeah. If you go out to Cerritos, there's some good ones, uh, Lakewood, but we don't, we, we don't have one here in Downey. And, and you mentioned there might be one coming over. To that would, that's Dallas. the rumors that I've heard. So that would be amazing if it did come right there, right across the street. It's very roomy. It would be very yeah. nice. Yeah. So I, I hope it happens. We'll, we'll see. Great. Great. Okay. Oh, the last one. Somebody wrote to me. I don't know. If the, I don't know if that's my choice on there. Somebody else wrote to me. Uh, they were talking about a Hobby Lobby coming into the city. So uh, one of those type of things. Mm -hmm. and, and I know we have other stores on there, but I, I'm not. That's not my wish list. But that's some. Actually, a couple people wrote that to me. They want a hobby lobby. Uh, yeah, they wanted that in there. So, anyways, okay, so I think we've gone through the three stores we got. What's coming that we've heard from, and that's yeah. exciting. And of course, the old story Trader Joe's. Love me or leave me or yeah. don't talk to me, whatever you want to do. So, Absolutely. anyway, well, it was a good talk. It was, it was good. It's always fun. Listen, mm -hmm. we're getting a lot of traction from folks. Please share this and let us know any topics. We have several episodes lined up with the topics that we want to talk about. Uh, if you like it, you know, subscribe to on, on your podcast. Mm -hmm. Any one of them, Spotify, the Apple one, anywhere else you get your podcast. We'd appreciate it just to get a uh, to get a base, and we're mm -hmm. getting a base. It's kind of fun, yeah. and people are writing to us and telling us what they want to talk about. You know, they don't like this, they like that. You know, we haven't done the dork of the month a couple of times because a couple of you didn't like it mm -hmm. and thought that we, we were being mean. So and sometimes you know, we just forget. We just forget too. Yeah. Okay, we're we're not experts in this. We're having a good time. Mm -hmm. We're enjoying talking about the city of Downey. Uh, and we want to talk about it once in a while, and we'll get there. Uh, we'll get political. 
We'll talk about also things that happen in the region. Listen, next year, I got a feeling we're going to be talking a lot more politics because, or even in the next couple of months, the redistricting has mm -hmm. happened both for the uh, state, the assembly, uh, the board of supervisors. Mm -hmm. We're going to probably get a new uh, supervisor mm -hmm. uh, for us. And, you know, there's a lot of things going on next year in the election year. This is not supposed to be a, a political uh, discussion or podcast, but we want to talk about what's pertinent to Downey, how it impacts Downey. In, in the region. So we'll get there and stuff like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, follow us, and uh, thank you for the feedback. Thank you for watching. Okay. And thanks for watching Talking Downy with Mario and Eric.